White Sox trying to avoid being swept at home in a four-game series from the Tigers for the first time since 1980. Jake Peavy on the hill going up against Justin Verlander. Well, not easy for the White Sox here, though they do have a one nothing lead in the bottom of the first, and Jeff Kepiger adds to that. The single to right, it can't be handled by Torrey Hunter. Adam Dunn scores. Paul Konerko's chugging along, but he's going to be thrown out at the plate. Didn't even get a chance to slide, but still 2 nothing White Sox. In the fourth inning, Hunter atones for the error earlier in the ball game. His 10th home run of the season, a straightaway center field. A two-run shot evens the game up at two. Bottom of the inning, two men aboard for Tyler Flowers. And he comes through with a hit with a man on in scoring position. Andy Dirks can't make the catch, so Connor Gillespie comes in to score. Dying Biciano to third, and that will be scored a double. Maybe a bit generous, as Dirks, I'm sure, would say. He should have had that one. Two batters later, it's Alexei Ramirez. And look at this. Alexei comes through. Jackson taking some time, getting rid of it. High throw, Verlander's there backing up. Now he's going to go to second base, but Alexei is back. Two more across the plate. It's a 5-2 Sox lead. Yes! Ramirez a two for four day, two runs, two RBIs. Bottom six, now 6-2 White Sox, and here's Tyler Flowers off of Verlander. That ball hit high and deep. Dirk's back, jumps, you can put it on the ball. His second off Verlander, and it's a 7-2 ball game. Mercy. Verlander gives up seven runs on 11 hits in six innings. Now 7-3, Peavy still in the game in the seventh, and Johnny Peralta, it's the liner to right center, but Alex Rios, the nice slide and grab out there. And Peavy, he'd handle things from there. Next up, it's Don Kelly, and Peavy says sit down. Peavy, seven-plus innings. Allows four runs on four hits, strikes out seven. He improves to eight and four as the White Sox avoid the four-game sweep. Verlander falls to ten and eight, and the Tigers were without Miguel Cabrera for the third straight game due to a hip flexor injury.